Okay, um, so I'm gonna show you how to do water slides. And this is currently the designer edition. So yours might be a little different, but probably not so much different. Um, so anyways, so what you're gonna do is you open it up and this is, you know, I think this is how majority of it looks. Um, you go into this little file open. I have a couple of them saved already. Um, this is, I recently found out about this page and it's called Kiss PNG. They have tons of water um, transparent pictures. You'll have to look into it to see if you're able to use it, commercial or not. I'm not sure because I just discovered it. Anyway, so you click one that you like, you download it, a file thing will open, you save it, and then you go here. So I saved it to my computer already. Here's one that I got earlier. Double click it and it will come to your screen. So what you want to do first is this automatically came up. But if it doesn't, click the first one. Page setup. I'm not sure how regular one will look, but you go to page setup. Okay, I always do 8.5 by 11 because that's regular size paper and that gives me already what I'm working with and I know you're able to like show if you want it to have the white background or you can put it where it says reveal um I like to see a little bit of my lines to know where I'm going anyways pretty much each little box is an inch so what I do is, you know, size it to a however big you want. Literally, you know, I just squish them. You can open what when you open another one, it'll literally open it in a new window. What you want to do is click it and then right click cut. Go back to the other one. Right click paste. And literally, you know, just move it anywhere. Pretty much. Um, right click cut you can exit out I'm not gonna save it there's nothing to save um, paste you know you could size it however big you want literally that's all you do just don't go outside this line because that means um, you're gonna go off your page so anyways fill it up however much you want um, I like to get ones with clear background. Let me see. I'm pretty sure I can, um, let me see. I mean, you can do this one. Oh, I was trying to show you one without a clear background. I know that horse doesn't have one. Um, you can do this one. Let me see. You can exit these out and not save them. There's no point of having all these. Sometimes my machine freezes up because I'm faster than it. Or maybe because I don't have enough room. Who knows? Anyways, so, you know, paste it. You know, just... You can leave the white on. You don't have to take it off. Um, You could even, like, squish it on like that. But I don't really like to join it together. This... So anyways, um, when you double click it, there's like these squares, but I want to get rid of this part. So what I'm going to do is go over here to my knife tool, as it's called, and I'm going to just literally double click it. Okay, then I go back to my arrow because I want to be able to click that and I usually just delete it, push delete. It'll delete that. Um... You know, there's other stuff you can do. This is an eraser. So if you want to, like, erase. Oh, if you want to erase oh, this white part, you can get as close as that as you want. I mean, there's so many things you can do. Um, okay, so say this is all filled up. This is all filled up. You know, I mean, obviously you're not going to have it like this. But you're going to have to fill it up and then go over here to the print sign and 
end, there's a print button. And then you're going to push, I don't know what printer you have. It'll, um, let me see. Oh, find printer, find your printer. I don't know why I have so many. Um, this is my printer. And then I go to preference because, um, you know, you can print it how you want it. I label each one, you know, because I have so many things. So for water slide, I put, you know, other glossy inkjet, normal one, borderless, I put on because I don't want it to have one. None. You know, you push OK. You literally push print. Make sure that's one. And, um, push print and it'll literally send it to your printer. And that's pretty much it.